Hi, this is Tembi Mashangu. I would like you to help me with this question right here. Thanks. The question says, O is the center of the circle. Now, this is the most important thing that they can ever say to you. That being the center, it means I have that and that line being equal to each other because they are equal radii. And then TS and QR are produced or rather produced intersect at M. Now also the important thing there is produced. If I see produced, it means I can talk about an exterior angle of a quadrilateral or a triangle. You cannot talk about an exterior angle unless you have a line of or one of the sides of that shape produced. Produced would mean extended. Now that's what I have. And then QM is equals to TM, so that's also important. Now I have this whole side here being equal to this whole side there. So I can't really do it yet because you can see I have that uh, point there. So if I make it here, it seems like I'm saying SM and RS, so and RM, so I'm not gonna do that. Hence I'm drawing that wobbly thing there. Then S2 is equals to X. Now I have S2 being equal to X, so this is X. Now let's firstly, before we can go anywhere guys, this is what I want you guys to please know. Whatever I tell you on the statement, before doing any question, you need to take it and, tra and transcribe it onto the statement so that it makes sense. Whatever I say, when I say center, it means you can talk about an angle at the center being twice the angle at the circumference. You can talk about radius. You can talk about the radius being perpendicular to a tangent. When I tell you lines are equal, you can talk about the base angles of those of that triangle being equal also if i tell you that uh, there's lines produced it means i can i'm saying you can talk about an exterior angle so i need to show those things on the diagram before continuing with the question now this is what i actually mean so if i have this as x you can see i have one one two three four points on the circumference that means qrst is a slightly quad also i have p r ST, which are on the circumference, it means that it's also a slightly quad. Therefore, I will then say that if this is X, it means that is also X there. So I will have this angle there and that angle there being equal to each other. The reason for that will be exterior angle of a slightly quad. And then also I will have this as also equals to that angle there, which makes this to be X as well. Why? Because it is also an exterior angle of a slightly quad. Now please look at my colors. I'm using different colors. So it makes sense where I started and how it led me to where I wanted to go. Now let's have a look at the first question and see what exactly it wants. Determine the size of uh, O2 in terms of X, no, O1 I mean, sorry. So O1 will be twice the angle P, meaning O1 is equal to 2X. But you need to talk about why is P X in the first place. So firstly, I talk about what P is. So I will then say my S2 is equals to P, which is equals to X. And then remember, you can't state anything without giving a reason exterior angle of slightly quad. You do not need to complete this and say is equal to the interior opposite. No, as short as this is, that's what the answer needs to be. And then from there, I will then say, therefore, O1 is equals to 2P, which is equals to 2X. And the reason for this will be angle center two times um, the angle at circumference. So that will be what I have there. So that's what I need to do with that. So I hope you guys are actually enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying this. Now let's go back and fill in the information that we already had. I said that was X, that was X, and we said that is X as well. And then we found that this to be 2X. Now, one of the things that was mentioned, guys, was the fact that this line here was equal to that line segment there. So that's one of the things we also need to include. Now, it says prove that uh, RM is equal to MS. Now, this is what this means. Prove that RM is equal to MS is not what you need to do. No. That's the conclusion you're going to draw after saying 
why is RM equal to MS? So what you are required to prove is what makes those two lines to be equal. In simple terms, I'm saying to you, if two lines are equal and it is, it is a triangle, it means it's an isosceles triangle. So prove one of the other properties of an isosceles triangle, which will be this angle here, which is a base angle, and that angle there, which is another base angle, will be equal. By the way, I'm pointing, so I'm hoping you guys can imagine what I'm actually talking about. So let's have a look at what exactly I'm saying we need to do. Now here, I will first start by saying my required to prove, this is for your own benefit. Uh, I will say I'm required to prove that S2 is equal to R4. If I can prove this, then I can conclude that this exists. So I cannot use the properties of lines being equal to prove that. I first need to talk about why these two angles are equal, and then I can conclude that Rm is equal to uh, RS, M -S -S, M S I mean. So my proof will then be, so I know that S2 is equal to uh, Q, right? So S2 is equal to Q, which is equal to X, and this is an exterior angle, exterior angle of a slightly quad, right? Exterior angle of a slightly quad. I also know that my R4 is equal to T3, and this will also be an exterior angle of a slightly quad. But I know that uh, R4 is supposed to be equal to Q. And the reason for this is because I was told that QM is equal to TM. Therefore, it means that my R, uh, not my, yes, my R4 Sorry, look at me lying there. I'm making a mistake. Sorry about that. Uh, it's not R4. It is actually supposed to be T3, not R4. So this angle here and that angle are supposed to be equal because these lines are equal. Therefore, lastly, I will then say R4 is equal to S2, uh, which means they are both equal to X. Then I can conclude then that Rm is equal to Ms. Now, I need some space to write you the reason. I will then say sides opposite equal angles. Please, guys, I don't know what I can say to you. Don't ever use the reason isosceles nature of a triangle. That doesn't exist. You either say angles opposite equal sides or you say sides opposite equal angles. Not isosceles nature of a triangle. That is never a reason that you can ever use in Euclidean geometry. So that's one of the pointers that I'm throwing out there that you guys need to please uh, take a uh, grasp of. Now let's look at the next question. The next question says, determine the size of M in terms of X. Now I need to find M in terms of X. Now let me fill in the information I had. That is X. Um, this is also X. That is also X. Uh, that is X. This is 2X. Remember that is equal to that there. So all the time I will be filling in the information that I have so that you guys can see where I'm taking my answers from. Now, what I want, I want the angle M, which is what I do not know. So my required to find in this instance will be what M is. When they say to you in terms of X, it means that your answer can have X as one of the variables. It doesn't necessarily need to be X. Now, therefore, I will then say in triangle R S M or let me show you the other option or rather I will show you after we're done with this one. It's, it's one and the same thing, just I might use this triangle here. So I might use this triangle here to prove what they want me to prove or I can use the bigger one here. I can use the bigger one. It is roughly the same thing. So I can either use that or I can use the bigger one. So now I'm using the small one. The small one, I'm then going to say um, R4 is equal to S2 and this was equal to X and this is proven above, right? So I will just write above here to say we've proved this above. Therefore, lastly, I will then say um, M is equals to 180 degrees minus 2x. And this will be sum of interior 
angles of a triangle. Then the last question now, which is the interesting one. Now I know that this is 2x. I know that this is 180 degrees minus 2x. Then they say to me, uh, prove that ORMT is a cyclic quad. Now let me highlight what they want me to prove. So I need to prove that this is a cyclic quad. Now remember, guys, I said there's always an RTP, right? So the RTP in this instance uh, will be, I'm required to prove that um, O1 plus M is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, that will mean then, I will then say O1 plus M is equal to, remember O1 is 2X plus 180 degrees minus 2x, which will then be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, O, R, M, T is a cyclic quad. My reason will be a converse of supplementary angles. Converse supplementary angles.